Now I ain't one to gossip, but I will bring you the tea. Welcome to Chronicle Speak. With the way Wendy Williams' life has been set up lately, she probably wants to go hide under the closest rock. I want to shout out to my husband. I'm still wearing my ring. My way. All is well in Hunterville. In Hunterville. Yeah. I know what you've been seeing, and I knew what the streets have been talking about. Marriages are not easy. Don't ask me about mine until you see this gone. And it ain't going anywhere. You big dummy. Wendy Williams was being treated for her addiction to alcohol and prescription drugs. Her husband and his mistress, Sharina Hudson, were in a hotel nearby. Sharina has given Kevin several ultimatums. She wants to start her own family with the married father. But he told her he can't leave his wife. Apparently, Wendy pays all the bills. Wendy pays all the bills. That's the only name that I can think of when I think of Miss Sharina Hudson. Y'all kept trying to tell me she sent those photos to the Daily Mail and I thought she had a little bit more class than that, but obviously not. Tasha K confirmed it yesterday in her video. Now, many of you were also shocked that Kelvin traveled with Sharina to Florida to go see Wendy when she was in rehab, according to the Daily Mail. But we covered a similar story a few months ago when I told you that Nicole Spence that used to work with Wendy and Kelvin on the Wendy Williams experience had court docs that showed that Kelvin went out of town with his girlfriend Sharina and had the trips paid for by producers and was physically threatened and nearly attacked by Miss Williams she claimed the company executives paid for her husband Hunter and at times his girlfriend to go with the company employees on trips to Puerto Rico Jamaica and other places as reports claim Hunter has been hiding a secret affair with massage therapist Sharina Hudson for years Williams denied the rumors now this happened back in 2008 now let me just put in your head how long ago that was during that time Obama wasn't even president yet y'all that was a long long time ago so I just wanted y'all to get it in your heads how long your girl Sharina has actually been in the picture so Sharina has been in the picture for so long not only did they have homes together but according to Angela Yee from the Breakfast Club someone that she knows that worked at the Wendy Williams show told her that Sharina was even popping up at the show outside ready for Wendy to come out you want to hear some inside scoop I heard tell me from, you know, from the wait, source? Wait, who? Cite your sources? It was somebody that used to work with Wendy. Oh my goodness. <laughs> no, maybe I shouldn't do this. I don't know. Do it! Source. Do it! I, I wonder <laughs> it's if... It's all the, coming back to me now. Tell me more. I oh wonder if goodness. the mistress has ever confronted Wendy or showed up to the show. What you mean? Like pulled up like this yeah. Miss this Hunter like, need to talk to the other Miss Hunter type stuff? Because I heard that happen. I heard really? Shabina, who is the alleged mistress, pulled up to, the mm. win, to Wendy's show at times mm. in the past and said... What, Charlemagne again? Because I know you heard the same story. Yeah, I'm, I'm going up. <laughs> what they say? I don't know, man. All I know is this is sad. This and Mrs. I, Hunter wants to talk to the other Mrs. Hunter. And, and, yeah. So obviously, Sharina is in her feelings, honey, and she's sending out pictures. She's taking it from a computer screen to make it look like somebody else did it. I guess to make sure that Kelvin don't handle that ass when it comes down to the nitty gritty. Speaking of Kelvin, shout out to my boy Charlemagne that went ahead and let it slip that his name is Kelvin. I heard you. Right. I wonder, I wonder though, if, uh, oh if Kelvin Hunter is smart enough to know. Kelvin? Kevin, it's Kelvin, whatever. I wonder if he's now with Sharina being as vindictive as she is. I wonder is she gonna let any pregnancy pictures slip out next? Now, our source claims that Wendy's husband, Kevin's alleged mistress, is allegedly pregnant and that the baby is due any day now. Now, her having a baby goes against the alleged agreement that Wendy and Kelvin made. She was okay with them possibly being together as long as they didn't have a baby and as long as they didn't embarrass her. And it seems like they've done both. Kelvin recently made a statement saying, Wendy is doing well. We're doing well as a family. We are moving forward with working on her sobriety and doing the work to help others, not just ourselves. It is a family process. Anybody that has dealt with this knows this is a family process and we are dealing with it and moving forward. Now in moving forward, I promised you guys that I had information regarding Sharina and all of her failed businesses and I'm not going to let you down. Y'all already know what time it is. So the Daily Mail mentioned that she owns a boutique named Vish, V-I-S-A. Vish started off as Lavish Couture. Now she registered this business in 2012 with the state. She also got a Dun & Bradstreet number. She had everything set. 
This happened in 2012, but she didn't get the business up and going until 2013. She created a Facebook page for it. She created a website for it. She even had family members reporting it on their page, pretty much shouting her out. No tea, no shade, but the girl does not have fashion sense. I really don't know why she got into the fashion industry, why she's selling these items, why she was attempting to sell these items. She was trying to sell things on eBay. It just was not working for her. She claims she's a personal stylist, but ugh. It's a no for me, dog. Well, after that failed business venture in 2014, she registered the name Lux Studio North and opened up a Behance page. Now, Behance is a site that they pretty much allow you to have a digital portfolio of all of your work. On this site, she went by the name Nicola Hudson, honey. N-I-I apostrophe C-O-L-A. Now, her middle name is Nicola, N-I-C-O-L-A, but she decided to add an extra I in the apostrophe, honey. Nicola Hudson. Now, she sold jewelry. A lot of it said that it was cubic zirconia, but it actually looked really, really nice. I don't think she did good with this business either because she stopped selling the jewelry. Well, after that business didn't work, she decided to still use the name Lux Studio North and she became a photographer. Not only was she a photographer, this was a modeling agency as well. It was on West 38th Street in New York. The rent was about $1,400 a month. And she decided to also take pictures of some of the pieces, the jewelry that she had. Now she did this, she had her own Facebook page it didn't work out like I honestly do not think that this woman is a business person and it's crazy because she went to school for massage therapy why aren't you doing that like why didn't you use this unit to massage people in I don't get it it seems like what they were saying about Kelvin being insecure might be true now speaking of Sharina going to the massage therapy school on the day that Wendy got back on her show which I believe was March the 4th someone commented in her status and said Wendy you break my heart I went to Crativa Institute in 2012 and graduated with Sharina Hudson your husband would occasionally drop by to see her she is having his baby and you are being the ultimate fraud so very sad but get that money girl shaking my head and shout out to my subscriber that sent me this information because she looked this lady up and found out that she did actually go to Kativa Institute in 2012 so she is an alumni and she was there when Sharina was there because I got proof that Sharina went in 2012 as well okay y'all so on to this very last business but first let's recap she has been a clothes buyer a jewelry maker a photographer slash modeling agency owner now Sharina decides to become a realtor and she opens up NKT Realty. I'm <laughs> Funny family. Don't start laughing. Charlotte says the NKT Realty is located in Morristown, New Jersey. The organization primarily operates in real estate brokers and agents business industry within the real estate sector. This organization has been operating for approximately two years. NKT Realty is estimated to generate $68,304 in annual revenues and it employs approximately two people at a single location. And unfortunately, this location was listed as the Morristown estate and it's crazy because these people will continue to take L's because they have things going to their home why not get a P.O. box why not get something else and it's really crazy because Wendy did all that talking about Aretha Franklin saying that her finances are messed up because she let cousin Junebug handle all the business in the meantime get as much as you can from that big company and don't have cousin Junebug do <laughs> do do the contract Child, I would much rather cousin June Bug handling my contract than husband Thug Bug, cause he's giving all your money to Sharina and she's putting it down the drain to them failed businesses. Child, I just can't take it no more. Being a business owner just might not be up her alley, girl. She can go to Walmart, cause every time I go up there, there's nobody at the registers and I have to ring it up myself. Anyway, what I need you guys to do is leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this situation with Sharina, with Kelvin's statement, with everything that's going on with the Wendy Williams situation. And you know how we do. We'll talk about it down below. 
Now before I end this video, I wanted to tell y'all about a company called Ash Kicking. Now y'all know Miss Chronicles would not promote a company without doing one of those thorough Chronicle Speaks investigations, honey. And Ash Kicking definitely passed the test, y'all. Make sure you visit ashkicking.com for the best 100% all natural home fragrance and beauty products, honey. And use my code CHRONICLES at checkout for an extra 15% off just for you. And before you go, don't forget to hit the bell for notifications, like this video, and subscribe and we'll talk to you guys later. Bye.